We're here at the Hindu Temple of Arizona. We are just having a wonderful time and just enjoying these beautiful ceremonies. This is a very, very special ceremony that is happening this whole weekend. And that is deities have been brought from India. It's a once in a lifetime event for a temple. And it's a once, this is the first time it's ever happened in the state of Arizona. Hinduism believes that we are a part of a big scheme and in that scheme our biggest power is called Brahman. And Brahman is pervasive throughout not only this world but we call it in the universe. So he is a big creator of everything. Brahma is then represented in three forms of gods. One is called Brahma, other is Vishnu, and the third is Shiva. Vishnu always comes, is, he comes as an avatar, incarnation. It's not a reincarnation. Reincarnation is for the human beings, us, right. and the animals, because we believe that we have a something in, within us we call that Atma, and that Atma is the one that takes shape. Atma cannot be destroyed either by fire or by water, and you cannot kill it with the most powerful weapon. Well, the, you use the word soul, that's what Atma is, and what form it is, it's very hard to put a physical shape on it, but this is the energy that comes and it takes various forms. So when a human being is born, he comes with the Atma, and when he dies, the Atma goes out, and we believe that this Atma will take a different form. So our body you can think of just like we change our clothes, so Atma changes the body. And this process of uh, being born, living on this earth, and then dying, and this process is called the samsara, uh, sansara. And then when soul or the atma comes back, we call it reincarnation. So okay. human being goes through the in reincarnation. Our purpose is to do good deeds, and ultimately we hope we will be able to join the bigger place where that uh, the Paramatma, uh, Brahman lives and we will become a part of that uh, abode. But the, to attain moksha you have to do many things and some of the things are you pray, meditate and moksha means you are broken the cycle of reincarnation. Once that has happened then you become a part of the bigger abode where God we believe lives and then you go there and then you will not be going through this cycle of being born, spending your life and then dying again. Hindus are vegetarian uh, because we believe every living thing has a life just like yourself. So animals when you kill, they also have Atma. So you should not kill the other Atma that's not your job. And also, uh, we, you might have heard people say, holy cow. Okay? <laughs> right. No, cow is a source of many, many things for Indians because when the child is born and you have to supplement mother's milk, then you go and use the cow's milk. Plus, cows also provide material that cow dung that was used in the olden days as a fire things. Everybody believes that there is a supreme being, there is a power, and that power is all, you know, we call it omniscient, omnipresent, and all those things. So similarly, we believe that Paramatma or Brahman is one. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. 
Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for letting us um, come to your temple. And we also want to say a special thank you to Director Dr. Prem and the priest and um, all of you here today. Thank you so much for welcoming us to your temple.